Look, Bartley Cloud is guys over the metro area right now. Things relatively quiet out there at this point, anticipating a pretty quiet weather day even into tomorrow. But we are going to slowly start to see some changes here. But today, a real low day for storms. We have a few across the Sacramento Mountains, and that's about it. A few cloud buildups across places like Doniana County and into Luna County, but nothing that's a big deal. 89 degrees in the metro winds right now, not a factor. They're calm. 70s and 80s to the north, 90s out east and down to the south, 80s and 90s for the most part. Including 98 in Carlsbad and 97 in Roswell. Looking at the satellite and radar here, we do still have our moisture plume well down to the south over Mexico. We'll start to draw it back up into the state tomorrow, but more so. Friday and into the weekend as high pressure finally begins to shift here. And we do have to have a high pressure shift to get some juice in here. And it does look like that will happen over the next few days. So as it does, as the high goes a little bit to the east, you'll notice the moisture door start to open across the southwest and onto the state as a whole here coming up for especially Friday and into the weekend as well. Now, there's no question that models disagree on what's going to happen with this high. Some models say yeah, this thing's going to come back over us and really shut out moisture well into next week. Others say not so much. We should do okay for storms, so it'll depend. But so far, this has been a great monsoon season, the greatest ever. Well, we're off to a pretty good start, in fact. Now, as we look at the next 30 days, where we go from here on out, the above average precip looks like a real possibility. That's what the long term forecasts are showing. Usually we tell you, hey, just use the long term forecast as one piece of the information. And we're continuing to say that. But the good news is the long term stuff has been pretty accurate lately. So we'll hope that that continues. But if we look at some of our best monsoon seasons of all time, number one is 2006 when we got 9.42 inches. Last year, we were number six all time. So not bad at all. 7.16 inches. And the top 10 rounds out in 1893 with over six inches. So right now we're about four and a half, just over four and a half inches at the Sunport in 2014. Well, if we continue on the pace that we've been on, we would end up over nine inches and in the top two or three for all time monsoon flows. So that is great. And that's only happened a couple of times since they began keeping records. However, even if we end up average from here on out, we'd end up over six inches for the monsoon flow, and that would put us in the top 10. So overall, we're looking pretty good unless we go really dry. 79, Pagosa Springs, 81, Durango, 84, and Cortez. Partly sunny, spot storm possible. Out to the northwest, looks good here. Lots of sunshine. In fact, temperatures hanging steady in the low 90s. Over to the southwest, partly cloudy, some spot showers, and then scattered showers back in the forecast Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday. Southeast, sunny in the morning, and then some spot rain. Not out of the question tomorrow afternoon, especially over the high terrain. Up to the northeast, temperatures here mainly in the 90s, but some 80s around Mora and Las Vegas with spot rain showers. Northern mountains, scattered storms, 84 in Taos, 80 in Chama, and 83 in Los Alamos. Out to the east mountains, partly cloudy here with an isolated storm possible in temps in the 80s. And finally, right here in the metro area, temperatures in the low 90s for tomorrow. Sun and clouds could grab a spot shower, but the chances actually go up a little bit more as we head into the weekend and into next week as well. Okay, thank you, Mark.